Oh, dude, I, I gotta get outside. I can't sit here any longer, man. This. Oh. I've got a package for Mr. Turner. Oh, it's from Razer. What is it? Oh, it's a brand new laptop. I've always wanted to be able to play The Sims outside and get some inspiration, get some fresh air, and uh, just try something a little bit out of my comfort zone. Thanks to the awesome people over at Razer for this brand new Razer Blade uh, laptop that has a GTX 1070, six core CPU, and the 144 Hertz refresh display. See that right there? That means it's fast. But yeah, this is gonna be perfect for going out and about and uh, playing The Sims. I was worried that I'd actually have to enjoy nature. <laughs> all right, now that I'm finally outside, away from all the screens and this beautiful sunlight, I thought we'd go play The Sims, you know? What better way to spend my day than to try and create eight Sims, make some money, build a house, and see how far I can actually get. Here's your coffee. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That's very appreciated. Oh God, that's cold as hell. That's the worst coffee I've ever had. All right, so I've uh, now sat down, got me coffee. Uh, I'm just gonna play some Sims now. I'm gonna make, my, the idea here is I'm gonna make a family uh, of about eight Sims. They're gonna be themed around Razor, you know. It makes sense. Mamba. I guess Mamba, last name Razor. Yeah, we'll go last name Razor. Oh no, this is Razor Mamba. Hang on, let me just make some room for my laptop. Oh wait, I don't need to, it's super portable. <laughs> I don't think this has to be a cheesy video at all. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna make eight sims. You know what? I'm just gonna let, let me just get all the sims in first. I'm just gonna randomize them. It's two, and then we'll get all the names going, and then they'll be beautiful. And then we're gonna try and keep them alive. But I think first we need we need to theme them all. Chroma, Razor. That doesn't make any sense, but we'll go with it. And you know what? Let's, this guy's gonna be the other way around. It's gonna be Razor Chroma because that that makes more sense. Razor Kraken. I guess we should have something called Blade as well. That would yeah, make sense. That, <laughs> that would probably make a lot of sense. Cracking commentary right here. Who else have we got, Matt? There's a man or a woman for this one. A woman. Uh, Vespula. V E S. What is that? This is a this is a game in itself. Guessing what these products are. Get, go on, get. Inner ear headphones. Nope. Earphones. It's a mouse pad. Oh, I was gonna say that. I, that, <laughs> I, I was gonna say mouse pad. So Razer Vespula. Razor Keo, there you go, looking cool, bro. And we're gonna get another person here. This lovely lady is gonna be called Razor Phone. There we go. All right, and last one, Razor Synapse. How do I synapse? Synapse. Dude, I spelled that correct. Sweet. All right, now let's let's style them up a little bit because they're pretty. They have no style, just like me. So we're gonna go black, basically black and green, right? So let's go. Green and black. I don't think there's really, I guess what I have to do is like choose like a black dress. I think I'll go, I'll go like a black dress or something and then do like green shoes. You know, really get that little accent. <gasps> Wait, dude, that's actually black and green. That's like spot on. Here we go. Those glasses look stupid though. Can I make the glasses green? Dude, Razor Mamba looking fine. Damn girl. And we're, now we're on Razor Chroma. Okay, there's gotta be like some full on like rainbow outfit. I think if we use like movie hangout stuff or something, we might get some stuff. Basically getting as many colors as we can right now. I don't know if there's any like pants that are super crazy. Oh, yes there are. Oh, be okay, that, that's it, we're done. All right, Razor Kraken, what are you gonna wear? Kraken sounds pretty like, it sounds like he's really like going for it. You know, he's gunning for it, like he's gonna be. Dude, that is, that is a Kraken outfit if I've ever seen one. Like it's Kraken. All right. Yeah. Wait, I'll wait for that and then I'll. Let me have my cold coffee. Now, so we're up to Razor Blade. I reckon well, Blade sounds like, I mean, this laptop is fast, small, and powerful, much like a ninja would be. So I thought we could dress him up like that because that's a pretty good tie-in. This? No, that's, that's a waiter's outfit. I mean, this is not so much a ninja outfit as it is maybe like a sort of parkour kind of thing going on. That's pretty cool though. I'm okay with that. Oh, we gotta put a hood on him though. Oh, he's like the hooded man. I am the hooded man. Okay, so that's Razor Blade. Then we've got, who, who do we have next? The Vespula. Okay, so she's gotta be, she's gotta be colorful. Dude, this is probably my, I think this is my best like creator sim I've ever done. People are gonna love this. 
the Razer Kio. So he's a webcam, he sees everything. So he should be like, and he needs to be like the all seeing eye. So maybe like a triangle. Is there like a Dorito mask I can put on? I mean, maybe if we put this hat on him, cause it kind of looks like, um, if you look at it from top down, maybe it's like a camera lens. Like it's kind of, it's just huge. Okay, so I think, I reckon if we just put him in like a tux or something, it'll probably look nice. Oh, actually that's kind of cool. Not what I was going for, but you know what? That's actually kind of cool. I like that. The Razer phone. What would Razer phone wear? I mean, the Razer phone's pretty, like it's pretty sleek. It's pretty, like pretty nice. You know what? Why don't we give her a nice, like a little formal dress? Oh no, maybe it should be like smart business. Is that like smart business? You know what? That's kind of nice. I like that. And I'm going to go with it. And then finally, Razer Synapse, which ties everything together. Ties all the Razer products together. So I reckon she's going to be the mom of the group. You know, she's taking care of everyone. <gasps> oh, she can, dude, I got it. She is going to be a mama bear. <laughs> There you go, beautiful. All right, so we got the we got the eight Sims. We got Razer Mamba looking pretty cool there. We got Razer Chroma, very colorful. We got Razer Kraken, Kraken outfit, that's for sure. We got the Razer Blade. He's he's gonna get you because he's small, fast, and powerful. And we got Vespula, just looking very customized. Razer Kio, the hats the hats the camera. That's I don't I don't know how that ties in, but it does. And then we got the Razer phone, and finally we got Mama Bear, also known as Razer Synapse. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the game. Actually, let me finish this. All right, so I think I want to go to a different place, you know? I want to play somewhere else for a bit. All righty. That looks pretty sick. I think this building is going to provide some awesome inspiration. So let's, uh, let's go sit down inside. All right, so I'm now going to build the house for these Sims. We're going to, we need to be able to throw a party at some point here. So I'm going to get stuck into build mode. So what I'm thinking is we go for, I mean, we don't really need beds, do we? I think we can, yeah, actually, you know what? Why don't we just get some tents and we can sleep outside and then the whole house is left over for a party. Wait, can you, can you even hear like how loud this is? Is it, does it sound loud? Dude, this thing is so quiet. This thing is quieter than the idiot behind me trying to open a bottle of Pepsi. I mean, I don't know what he's trying to drink. Anyway, let's get some tents for everybody. We'll sleep in some tents and then we'll have a big party house. Alrighty, so we got like... Oh. Is that... No, that's seven tents. I can't count. Hang on. Uh, eight tents. Beautiful. Not evenly spaced though. Okay, now the rest of the house has to be a party house. That's the plan. So let's go up a floor and then we're going to get on a beautiful roof. It's going to be bloody majestic. Get the glass roof on it. I mean, okay, so this is a party house, so <laughs> it's not gonna be the best thing ever, but it's gonna look sweet. I'm gonna go like a little bit of that, a little bit of this. That doesn't work. All right, we're not gonna do that. Um, we're not gonna go for a whole glass roof because that's just not gonna work as we discovered. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna duplicate this roof and we're gonna turn it into a regular roof so that it blends in and you won't even be able to tell what's what. Let's get a little bit of a roof here, bring that down. And then we almost have our basic layout ready to go. Ready to party, if you will. <laughs> hold up, hold up. I think I've, I'm near. Oh, okay. I think I think I'm getting somewhere with this. It is. It's definitely something unique. Something. Um, it's got the party vibes, I think. But I, I could probably use a little bit more inspiration. This building has provided some unique aspects, a lot of glass, but. So that was a good start to the build, but I think I'm looking for something a little bit more, and I think I know just the place. Oh, okay, this is exactly the inspiration that I need. This is gonna make the build. Okay, so I, I really wanna take some of the inspiration from the good old sales, as they're called, of the Opera House and fix up some of these roofs because, look, it was, it was nice, but well, no, it wasn't that nice. So let's see what we can do about this. Here, birdie, birdie. Would you like a razor blade? All right, so I'm thinking we grab the half-hipped roof, flip it around. You know what, we're gonna need another floor here, actually. We're gonna need to go like this, get a floor, get our half-hipped. I'm gonna go here, drag it out, and then, well, this is gonna look good. This is gonna look good, I can tell you that much right now. Drag that Eve out a little bit. Look at this. Dude, that looks like an opera house sale. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, let me just, I mean, I don't really know how to do more than one. I guess I have to make this smaller. Maybe that has to go like this. <laughs> this, this is ridiculous. It's so stupid. Okay, there's, there's some, de there's definite potential in this actually. This is a uh, move that, you know what, move it. Okay, here's what we do. We move that one there. We duplicate it. 
Okay, then because it is the opera house, I think we're gonna we go make the sales like white. Well, it's not the opera house. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just inspired by. I think this place right here is where we're gonna get all the cool ideas, specifically relating to roofs and and uh, doing something a little bit unique. Uh, get right. some glass in there. Like get a nice glass roof as well. Like I, I look, it's no, it's no opera house. It's not. It's never gonna match this this marvel, but. It's definitely inspired and it's it's gonna look cool. That's pretty good. And then I think if I can do, I mean the front looks like trash, I'll be honest. Then I think like a really, if we do like a really cool like atrium kind of roof, get some nice glass going, could be tip top. You know what, that's actually, that actually looks kind of cool. Like I'm surprised that, that you know, sometimes I surprise myself. I wanna have like the front like completely covered in glass because I think it will look really cool with the atrium up the top that we have. Oh dude, oh if we could get glass to fill that, that'd be awesome, but that ain't gonna happen, so. I've got like a good basic, party location and I think, I think I think I've got what I need from this location I think we need to go somewhere a little bit less in the sun because I am literally gonna burn in the sun playing the sims and who wants that that's ridiculous all right let's go find somewhere to eat and finish the build and then party yeah. there we go how's that <laughs> Thank you, thank you. All right, so with food on the way, I think I need to start finishing this build off, get some nice items in there, and we can finally throw this epic party. So finally turning this into a party place is gonna be pretty exciting. Oh, thank you so much, appreciate it. Got me chips, got me fuel. All right, so gonna get, I just gotta get some flooring and some walls in here. Like, it's gonna be pretty basic, nothing too crazy, because it's supposed to be a weird build. We're partying, <laughs> that's what it's gonna be. Okay, so I'm gonna put these lights along this wall and then, wait, we're gonna move this guy. Okay, so we're gonna have all the lights there. Then we're gonna go to live mode, change these, set color and intensity of this room to green lighting. Oh, there you go. Dude, I love bin chickens. Can we make a documentary about them while we're out here? This is a wild bin chicken. It roams the, it roams the city streets of Sydney looking for any and all scraps. Being out in the wild like this, you get to have fun moments. You know, it's, it's good stuff. All right, so we got some green lights up the top. I think I actually do need to change this maybe to, uh, you know, we need these light bars because this will add a much needed accent. I'm glad I finally have some food to refuel. I'm a little bit hungry after the day. Thankfully, the laptop doesn't need any refueling. It's still going strong. No, but in all seriousness though, this is actually doing really well. Like, I've been able to play Sims like all day and record it as well, mind you. Pretty solid. I'm gonna follow the same sort of uh, scheme that we're doing upstairs. So we've got all those lights on the walls. We got a few colored lights around the place. So I'm just gonna change these all back to green, like the ones upstairs. Oh, dude, that actually looks sick. That actually looks awesome. Do you like that? Do you like that, Matt? Dude, that looks that looks sweet at nighttime. Okay, if this is not some sort of razor party house, I don't know what is. I'm doing tiles on the outside because, I don't know, I feel like the opera house is like tiled. All right, let's go ahead and get a DJ booth. We'll put that just there. Oh, you know what? No, not that one. Let's get a better one than that. Let's go all out, here we go. Get in a beautiful glass dance wall. Does this have green lighting? If this doesn't have green lighting, we can't use it. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, we have blue, orange, and purple. That's not gonna work. Dude, you know what I just realized? None of these dance floors have any green lighting. I'll just go like a wooden dance floor, make it like dark. That looks alright. Get a bar as well, because we need to have drinks and snacks. We gotta, we gotta feed our guests. We can't just have them doing nothing. The bar doesn't have green lighting. We could do a karaoke machine, actually. That might not be a bad idea. We'll get this like next to the sort of DJ booth area. Oh, oh dude, we gotta have like, uh, like when you walk up to a venue, you have like, you, you get your picture taken. I think we gotta have that when you walk in. I mean, it takes up most of the property, but we need it. Okay, so we're gonna get people, when they come in, we need to like direct them round to the photo booth. Oh, hang on, I need to move objects. I don't even know if this is gonna work. It probably won't, but we'll try it. Move objects, there we go. Okay, so you come in, come in the door, and then you sort of have to come past, and you get your photo taken here. Uh, oh, okay, those lights are slightly in the way. We'll move those. Get your photo taken here, you know, because you want to know, you want to document the night, the great epic night. Then after that, I guess we should probably have some bathrooms. Maybe we'll just get a couple of bathrooms over this way. Okay, so I think we need some seating as well, because you don't want to always stand up. That's kind of ridiculous. Dude, black and green seats, perfect. Get those in. So uh, we'll get a couple of couches as well. All right, so we got a couple of these in, probably just over here somewhere. A uh, couple of places to sit down, get comfy. Okay, I think I just need to add like a little bit of a pathway, and we're gonna we're gonna keep it pretty simple. And then I'm gonna finish up my lunch and I think we'll head over uh, to a, a nice park. I think I, need, I think I need to get out of like 
the middle of the city. And there we go. Right, that'll do for now. Let's go find a nice park to sit. Well, let me finish my chips. I got the whole bowl of chips. Let me finish those. And then we'll go find a park. Uh, so it's getting near the end of the day. Uh, I'm getting a little bit tired. So I think it's best we get the party underway and have a good time. All right, so I made my way to a beautiful bench. It's the afternoon, the sun is setting, and it means it's time to throw a party. So let's invite all my brand new friends around. Like, look at all these people. There's like 10 people called Razor. I mean, their last names are all different. That's where it's special. Let's go ahead and uh, plan a social event. All right, so we're just gonna throw a house party. There we go. We're gonna get the host required. It's gonna be Razor Mamba. Because <laughs> she made all the friends. I made her meet everyone first. Select all of the household members. And this will be good, because this will put the, the laptop to the test to see if it can handle this many sims on a lot at once. Get an entertainer. We'll also get a mixologist to attend the bar, because that's quite important. And it's gonna be right here. So this should be starting right about now. Everyone should be showing up. Oh, here we go. We got some music going, all right. Oh, we got karaoke. You know what, I think we should get our photos taken with uh, all the people showing up. Let's just select a few few of our guests. Wait, wh where did my sim go? I, did, I selected to do a photo of three sims and it's just got two random people. Okay, thanks game. It's alright. I mean, it's a nice photo. I'll give them that, but not what I wanted. Alright, so all of our guests I think are here now. Oh, maybe there's a couple more coming. This guy's coming in. I don't really know any of these people. I kind of just met them on the street and just brought them in, so... Can we get can we shred up the dance floor or something a little bit? Oh, show off moves. Arm charm. Let's do it. I mean, everyone seems to be liking it. They're all here watching. Got the bartender. I mean, look, it's not... It's not exactly going up the chain, but there's a lot of people here, and the, uh, the laptop is certainly handling it well. Oh, damn. That's nice hair and a nice dress. I feel like this party's kind of dead. There's like no one doing any music or anything. Can you like just play some music or something? Hire a DJ headliner. Can we do that? Because this place is dead. Well, I mean, look, if, the, if this, if they're not going to start dancing to any of this, maybe I have one more plan. Just need to grab a computer for unspecified reasons. Actually, I didn't even need to do a chair. That was unnecessary. All right, let me get electronics. We're going to need a computer. I have no money. A little bit of, oh, whoa. A little bit of mother load. Now I want to go order, get one of these or a couple. We'll get a couple of them and then we'll chuck them down. Now this, this doesn't get the reaction that we're looking for. I don't know what will. So we're going to just light that, light that firework. All right. I mean, this place, okay. This place is packed. It's packed. So we're going to have a nice, uh, like a fire show. There we go. Oh, look at this. Now we're all coming over. Oh, okay. Well, someone has to, someone has to be the hero. At least, at least someone stepped in. Hey, look, we're all kind of dancing on the floor. Oh, no. Oh, uh, actually, that's just ruined the party. Literally, everyone's run out the front door. I mean, look, it's, it's okay. Uh, guys, keep partying. Come back in. There's a DJ here now. Look at this. Can we go down? Oh, wait, did I ruin the dance floor? I think the dance floor is dead. Oh, no, it's okay. Everyone's coming back in. All right, I think, I think we're all good. This party was literally lit. <laughs> um, but it, no, it's still, it's still really dead. Like, no, one, no one's really enjoying themselves. Um, it's kind of lame. I mean, look, I, I built this beautiful place in them. I, I went out and about in the big bad world. I was out all day trying to make this happen for them. But I just don't think anyone really appreciates it. Although, actually, having said that, now, now they're all getting into it. The DJ finally showed up. It's starting. I'm actually like, genuinely impressed with this laptop, man. Like, being able to play The Sims all over the place and have this party with, I guess, I, I assume we have like 20 Sims here. I don't actually know. 18. I count 18. And there's probably a couple more in the world somewhere. Like, we, we've got like a, a packed lot. We've got all this stuff going on. We've been going like all day and it's, it's, held, it's held up really well. And we're recording it too. Good stuff. But I think, it, I think it's been a long day. I think I, need a, I think I need to head home now. All right, now that I'm home, I've got my comfy pants on. I'm gonna see what kind of footage I got from the day and give it a bit of an edit. All right, new project, Sims 4 on the go. All right, so I'm gonna drag my good old foot. This is like, this turning into like an editing tutorial now. It's pretty sweet. Drag my footage in. This is all just a Sims footage that we've captured. I gotta say it's super useful being able to plug in two 4K monitors. I mean, you can have the channel up over there. It's just keep an eye on my stats. 950,000, it's exciting. This is all recorded earlier on the laptop. Okay, so checking the footage. It all looks pretty good. Um, I am actually like, 
surprised, like really genuinely surprised that this was able to do this all on the laptop and now editing it on the laptop. It's pretty sweet. So I think I'm actually just gonna do a quick render of this because it's all, I just, it's all a separate video. So I think it's gonna be easier just to put it in one. All right, so we're gonna leave that to render for a little while, get the footage going uh, so that we can edit the rest of this video here. I'm actually curious to see how long this would take. So interestingly, this does have, because this is a six core CPU, so it has 12 threads. So we can see all of them here, all being utilized quite well. And surprisingly, for an hour and 20 minutes, essentially, of gameplay, it's only taking 37 minutes to render at 1080p, 60 FPS. And that that is actually really, that's actually so good. Well, you know what, I that's that's awesome and all, but I think I'm, I'm a little bit tired. I think I'll, I'll continue this later and I want to, I just want to go sit on the couch for a little bit. I, just, it's, I think it's time to relax, so I'm just gonna... Let's just go relax a little bit. Oh man, it's been such a long day. But I gotta be honest though, man. This genuinely impressed me, this laptop, because it played a Sim 4 really well. It was super light to carry around, the battery lasted all day. Even when I was like recording and doing all this stuff throughout the day, like it was quiet as well. Like it's impressive. But I'm just glad to be home and finally able to relax. Oh. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, it's starting to snow. That's beautiful. Oh. But thank you so much to Razer for sponsoring this video. It's been a lot of fun to make this and just have a bit of a laugh, really, to be honest. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, make sure to click on screen to subscribe, check out some other videos, and we'll be back next time with some more Sims Madness. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.